What's up, collectors and ultras, and to see us today, we'll be taking a look at the recently revealed listings for the new Warmox exclusive subline Transformers Velocitron. So, this is the list itself, and of course, this comes courtesy of GT Prime 17. Man, this guy is just. It's a pro, man. He just drops banger after banger, and he doesn't miss it. So this, in my eyes, is pretty much official. You're looking at pretty much the first wave of exclusive for this new subline, Velocitron. And you know, for those that you don't know, Velocitron is pretty much a planet, you know, racing planet, and you know, pretty much all the exotic cars go there to race. You know, Hot Rod, Jazz, Blur, all the exotic cars that you know and love, they go there to race. This is pretty much one of my favorite stories because. I love cars. I'm a car enthusiast myself, so this is amazing that they're dropping this subline. And in part, is connected to the whole War for Cybertron line because on the Siege, they kind of mention it. They kind of mention Velocitron, so this is kind of you know there and not there at the same time. And before we get into it, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, guys. You know, Happy Holidays. I hope you had a fantastic day. You know, next to your loved ones and family, and you know a lot of presents, a lot of Transformers. Hopefully, you know to improve your collections and all that. But you know let's get into it so first on the list we got the locks clap down and this is a name that we already saw on a couple of listings prior to this one i don't know what they did what they decided maybe they you know they thought that it was going to be a better idea to release this guy on this line and honestly i do not mind because as you can see he is pretty much an exotic car and i'm loving it this is pretty much a mix between prowl side swipe and red alert red alert because you know it's wide it has the whole look side swipe the whole swag and all that and pretty much it's a cup so you know that's the uh the prowl thing that this guy has as you can see it looks fantastic man and just imagine the earth rise version of side swipe or red alert which is with the uh cup thingamajig on the top of the vehicle mode maybe a spoiler maybe not you guys know my whole thoughts on the whole spoiler thing of side swipe and uh sound trigger they should include this straight out of the box but you have to go to a third party market to add the damn spoiler so you just have to wait and see if this guy has a spoiler or not and probably not next on the list we got the lux burnout this girl's pretty much gonna be a re pain of skits you're gonna go ahead and just swipe the collar just put a red uh, uh or pinkish color in the black and all that and that's pretty much it you have your burnout character and yes this is a girl i did not know that because i had no connection with the character at all i had to google it uh, to see you know the, the Thing that this character is and, and you know the, the origins all that it's pretty much gonna be you know the, the repaint of skits and it's gonna be a girl how is it gonna look I have absolutely no idea what you're seeing on screen is the digivice is not official it's not confirmed this is you know do you guys have an idea of the potential look of burnout but moving on next we got the Lux blur and I'm really really hoping that this guy is gonna be an armada blur because I really want uh, you know a new armada blur for my collection the one that I I have is pre all I had it since I was a child so you guys know that has a lot of scratches a lot of dents a lot of things broken and I kind of want a new one you know to have it into my collection and you know not not no scratches no nothing put it there looking good and in terms of what it's gonna be if it's gonna be a retool or it's gonna be you know a brand new mall I have absolutely no idea hopefully it's gonna be a brand new mall but you know uh, you know how Hasbro works probably it's gonna be the uh, 86 blur but just with you know some some retool elements there maybe you know the face go is completely different you know to make it look a little bit accurate to the armada version and you know the color scheme is gonna go ahead and change a little bit but that is pretty much it moving on next up we got the last cosmos and for this guy i have absolutely no knowledge no connection to the actual character at all so i have absolutely no idea who it is how it is or anything the only thing that i know is that this is a mini con and now it's gonna be a deluxe class and this kind of happens a lot you know mini cons core classes little figures turn into the deluxes eventually so other than that i have absolutely no idea who this guy is so let's go ahead and keep it moving and now moving on to the next one on the list well now we know why rc looks the way she does because you know she pretty much was destined to be road rocket because it, it kind of it's a given it looks exactly the same man you can even you know uh, put the uh, weaponry the same way the actual character of road rocket has it and it, it, it's just a given it kind of makes me a little you know pissed and sad because I, you know i, I want to you know an accurate version of transformers prime i see because i have absolutely no transformers 
Prime figures and I, you know, wanted to start collecting them and I don't want to go through the old school figures because now those old school figures, some are expensive, some are hard to get and it's just a pain in the you know where. So now we know why she looks the way she does. She's pretty much going to go ahead and swap the colors, call it Rogue Rocket and call it a day. And she's going to look super, super aggro because it, she looks pretty much exactly the same. Now turning our attention into the Voyager classes first, we got Rogue Roller and this is pretty much G1 character. This is a blink and you're missing character it only show on one episode and it was a mistake it was supposed to be grapple and they, i don't know what happened that they you know changed the colors or something like that and you know made it look green and i don't know it's just a mistake that happened it just was one episode and then after that they decided to actually make you know the, the character and they gave it some story and all that essentially this was a member of the constructed cons and they you know he branched it out and turned it into the out of but that's pretty much irrelevant he is essentially a grapple or an inferno which is green and a little bit of purple there and that is pretty much it i'm not gonna go ahead and get it because i'm kind of sick of the uh, copy and paste inferno and grapples all over the place man we got like i don't know like four five figures already and this one is gonna be number six or five i'm not looking forward to it at all so let's go ahead and keep it moving now moving on to the best figure that is gonna come on this wave in my opinion is boy your girl overrate man this girl or guy or boy or kid or it, it's pretty confusing with the gender because he was essentially both on the east i think it was a girl and on the west it was the boy i don't know or vice versa it can be any anything it's pretty confusing but essentially he is the boss of the entire planet or the entire place that is uh velocitron you know he is the guy that pretty much controls everything there he's the fastest as well you know in my opinion but i don't know how they're gonna do it i don't know if it's gonna be a retool or some figure i don't know if there's a figure out there that is gonna be you know a really good uh, match between you know this guy and you know the previous incarnation because it's a little difficult you know he has a lot of panels a lot of things it's really slick so i don't know how they're gonna do it i don't know if they're gonna go ahead and do a hot ride i don't know if that's gonna you know look well uh or, or in terms of interpreting uh, override I I don't know it's pretty confusing hopefully they're gonna go ahead and deliver us a brand new mall that's gonna be fantastic really really accurate hopefully to the actual representation of either one because either of them are pretty cool you know the female version or the male version either of those i'm completely fine with it the male version obviously is a little bit more bulky and the female is a little bit more sleeker so i don't know which one they're gonna go ahead and do but Hopefully, again, it's going to be a brand new mold. Now, last on the list, we got the only leader class on the whole wave. And this is pretty normal. It essentially, it's always one leader class and or maybe two, but it's always one. We got Black Combo here. And the only thing that I can say is going to be the same Prime that we got, you know, Prowl, the G2 Prime. But this and with, with the whole kind of Nemesis Prime look, the whole black and, you know, may, maybe a little bit blue there. Just like, you know, the, the particular representation of this guy uh, is going to be fantastic, man. I'm going to go ahead and get it ACP. This is one of the must-haves with Override, in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and collect it ASAP. Believe me, I want this guy. Any Optimus Prime that has the whole black look, I'm all for it. I love black and just Optimus Prime. It looks so menacing and it's just a must-have for sure. But with that being said, I hope you're in the video. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm really interested to see and know your opinion on so especially which one are you most excited for. For me, it's Override and Black Comboy, so leave yours on in the comments. But that's pretty much it for the whole thing. I hope you enjoy. If it did, please see like will help you to algorithm the house my videos get out in wow so if you get anything any value to make content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformers velocitron warmers exclusive subline listings